Are you a church leader or do you want to know more about what church leaders should do? Ephesians 4.12 reveals that there is one uh, thing for all church leaders must do. Do you want to know what it is and more about it? Then stay tuned. Hello, welcome to 21st Century Moses channel. My name is Sammy Ju. Let's go to the first section, Exposition. Let's read Ephesians 4.12. To equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up, building up the body of Christ. Now, we can see the church leader's main job description here. It says to equip, this is the key word, to equip the saints, the members of the church, for, so there is a purpose, for the work of ministry ministry so that we can see that church leaders are not the only ones who are doing the ministry but church leaders are there to equip the saints to do the ministry so there's the ultimate purpose here for building up the body of Christ so it is not to build up a personal fame or uh, individual influence but it is to build up the body of Christ well we learned that Matthew 16 18 that Jesus said, I will build my church. So G the, uh, Jesus is the builder of the church and he is the owner of the church. But today's verse, it looks like uh, the church leaders are building the church. Well, if we connect them together, we can see that, G yes, Jesus is the builder of the church, but he uses the church leaders to equip the saints for the work of ministry for building up the body of Christ. So the church leaders are the instrument of Jesus Christ for the purpose of building up the body of Christ. Now this verse describes the most important job description for church leaders. We can create so many different job descriptions for pastors or other church leaders. For instance, your job is to preach or your job is to clean up the facility and so on. However, ultimately, the church leader's job is to equip the saints. Now this is what we need to do whatever different spiritual gifts we use for the ministry. If what we do is not equipping anyone for the service of good works, then no matter how many hours we put into work in the church, it is not building anything for the church. We must be very careful. If what we do is not building up the body of Christ, but building up the human kingdom, however great sermon you deliver, it is not from the Lord. By the way, what practical ways have you seen or experienced or practiced to equip the church members? Please share your experiences in the comment section below. Okay, remember keywords here, equip, building, so the main idea is church leaders are to equip for building the church. Read this verse three times out loud. Pause the video. Close your eyes and reset this verse word by word. Pause the video, please. Okay, let's fill in the blanks and check it. Two, the saints for the work of ministry. Four, up the body of Christ. The answers are equip, building, and today's verse is Ephesians 4.12. All right, great job. You memorized the six verses. Make sure to put your own emoji on 365 Empowerment Checklist on the description section below. If you think this video is helpful, please share this video with others like friends and family members. And if you have not clicked the like button, hit subscribe and click on the notification bell so that not only you're helping this channel to grow, but you, YouTube will show this video to more people in the world. Also, watch day 55 video of 70 Days Journey to the Bible. You will get the big picture. And please make sure to pray at least one hour after you read 17 chapters assigned for today. Prayer is so important in reading scripture and memorizing scripture verses. All right, that's, for it. that's, that's it for today and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.